In earlier demonstration, we installed DFS, and in this demonstration, what we're going to do is we're going to create a DFS namespace. So what we're going to do here is we've just come on to LonServe one which happens to be my primary DFS server. Next thing we're going to do here, just in Server Manager, we're going to come to Tools, and within Tools, we're going to click on DFS Management. Within the Management Utility, we'll then select Namespaces. I'll now right click and create a new namespace. We'll start to fill out the wizard. Name of our server will be LonServe1 and we'll select next. In the namespace and settings we're going to call this research. And at this point here we'll select next. Then namespace type, what we're going to do here is we're going to go for domain based namespace. We leave the Enable Windows Server 2008 mode selected and as we can see here, to access this research folder, we'll type in backslash backslash datum.com backslash research. We select next and we select create. Tick is good, it's now created, so we'll select close. We'll just expand up the namespace and what we'll do here is we'll just highlight backslash backslash datum.com backslash research. Span this up a little bit further, so nothing below there. So what we've got, we've got the namespace tab, we've got the namespace server tab, so we can see the, the server responsible, delegation tab, and then we've got the search tab as well, so we can search for information. Also as well, if we just right click on the folder, we can go to properties, and within the properties that gives us another set of tabs, so in the general tab here we can see the namespace, we can see the type, we can put in a description if we wish, we can see the number of folders with targets as well, if we have a look at the referrals, so specify the amount of time that the clients will cache referrals to the namespace, so 300 seconds, and also as well, targets in the client site are listed first in referral, so select the method for organizing or ordering the targets outside this client site. So in the orders method here we've got is random order, lowest cost, or exclude targets outside the client site itself. Then we've also got clients will fail back to preferred targets. Just on the advanced tab here, how we want to optimize polling. So what we have here is we can optimize polling to increase either the namespace consistency or scalability. So we can optimize it for consistency, as it says here, we'll pull the PDC emulator each time the namespace changes or optimize for scalability and the server will pull its closest domain control at regular intervals. And down at the bottom here as well, we can enable access based enumeration. So if people aren't allowed to see something, they don't see something. So what we'll do now is we'll now create a new folder. So if we right click at this point here, we can create a new folder within this namespace. What we're going to do here is we're going to call this proposal. Then we need to add a folder, so we'll select add. Now what we'll do here is we'll just add the target as backslash backslash lon hyphen serve one backslash proposals underscore docs. We'll select OK. We just get a warning saying that doesn't exist. Do we wish to create it now? Yes, we do. Then what we're going to do here is we're just going to create the share. So what we'll do here is we'll just type in the local path or shared folder. We're going to call our SQL and backslash proposal underscore docs. And what we're going to do here is we're going to specify this as administrators have full access and other users have read and write permissions. Then we'll select OK. Get the warning yet again doesn't exist so we'll say yes and then what we'll do at this point here is we'll just select OK. So now we'll create that we'll just click on the folder what we've got here it's enabled got a proposal if we look at replication here we can see that we don't have replication in place so for redundancy purposes we would implement replication. We'll just test the namespace so to do this we'll just open up file explorer and within File Explorer, all we'll do is we'll navigate to backslash backslash a datum.com backslash research. And hit the Enter key. And as we can see here, we can see our proposal share. And that's the end of this demonstration of creating a namespace and creating a new folder and folder target. Thank you.